Oh my gosh. Reapers, what is good? It's your boy Laser. We're back with another scary reaction video. You guys already know the vibes. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. If you guys enjoy my content and you guys love these scary reaction videos, because I know you guys love getting your timbers shivered. Nah, but if you guys enjoy these videos, you guys know what to do. You hit that like button, you subscribe, and you turn notifications on, guys. Let's get straight into this video. This video does not include a haunted Ouija that person board possessed? per se, oh my but God. a woman named Carmela is being tormented by a spirit unleashed from a Ouija board. That is not a spirit, that is a demon. Now she is being rushed to the hospital as she says strange and evil things twisted her face as tightly as the muscles oh would allow. my gosh. Carmela? I'm honestly concerned for her, like... <laughs> I am when the emergency medical technicians tell her to wake up, she sits up and an evil spirit appears to speak through her. I'm going, she's going to hell. God. She's going to hell? Carmilla lets her head drop back and begins thrashing back and forth while the energy inside her sends cryptic messages. That is actually so creepy. This video is believed to come from Spain, but little is known. Oh my I God. highly doubt that this has been staged because this looks like a real medical emergency. So she is probably either suffering from a delusion or spirits ravaging her. The and this is why I don't mess with Ouija boards, guys. I don't care if like people say they're fake and all. I I'm not messing with that because it brings negative energy into your life and Negative energy is just not something I like being around, you know? They say that you can become possessed if you do not correctly banish the ghosts at the end of a Ouija board summit. How do you even do that? <laughs> so maybe that's what happened to poor Carmela. Ooh. Victoria Greaves and Kaylee Atkinson are friends in their early 20s, enjoying themselves at the Slug and Lettuce Pub in Newcastle, England. The bar is nearly empty, and even though there isn't much action around, the two friends decide to take a picture anyway using Snapchat. Behind them, what appears to be a spirit from the Victorian age throws oh, her head back in laughter. Something about the supposed nature oh, looks devious and menacing. My boy As just if said it devious. Is gleefully <laughs> laughing at someone else's misfortune. My boy just said Both devious. Both friends insist that they did not see anyone who looked like this woman in the pub at the time. Uh. Creepy, dude. Creepy. Is this phantom nurse here to heal you or to hurt you? Published by Luan Mendez in May of 2020. Luan and his crew are exploring an abandoned hospital whose staff oh, hasn't wow. left. Look at the graffiti, dude. Wandering the halls, they turn down one hallway where they seem to spot something skulking in the darkness. Skulking. <laughs> the thing must have disappeared, so they move on, continuing in their search. Oh! And that's when they see her. Oh my god. Nurse Ratchet. No. No! No, 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 no. Go you better get out of there. Get out of there. Run, sprint. They race away as fast as they can, and one crew member falls unexpectedly of course. to the ground. Of course. It almost looks like he was clotheslined by something invisible. The crew did manage to escape the hospital alive, and that's no thanks to that creepy phantom nurse. That is terrifying. Dude. This is why you keep like a weapon or some sort on you. Dan you, like, Sutherland has a very building. nondescript closet in his room with a plain looking wooden door. For some reason, his baby girl Lily has taken an intense interest in the closet lately. I remind you, there's a closet. She don't know what's up there. She got like an imaginary friend or something in there? Watch. So she like senses something. He thinks he might know why nothing about the outside of the cabinet should attract Lily's attention for a second. Still, her gaze seems utterly transfixed at times. However, there is something inside that she might be interested in, though she should have no idea of its presence or implications. As it turns out, Lily's grandmother recently passed away, and inside that closet is the same shirt her grandmother was wearing on that day 
along with some other personal belongings. What's even more strange is that Dan recently moved them into the closet the day before Mother's Day. Before this, Lily had never really taken notice of the closet. Now, Dan is wondering if Lily is detecting her grandmother's presence. Please, let me know if you think of any reason for Dan's daughter to look over at that ordinary looking closet with such a pleased expression on her face for so long. I have no idea what could be holding her attention like that, except for her grandmother's comforting presence. Ooh, no thanks. No thanks, bro. It's always the grandmas, too. Steve Richards and Jason Griffiths make up the Ouija Board Brothers. Oh, no, a not fearless a ghost hunting duo from Where the are they? English are they in like Midlands. a asylum? What makes them different from most is that they are more skeptical and often set out to debunk famous haunted locations rather than promote them. With that said, they may have met their match at Shepton Mallet Prison. Oh, they're in a prison. Built in 1610, Shepton Mallet Prison is the oldest prison in the country they, and they, was the longest running until its closure in 2013. They said 1610? Four centuries of brutal treatment have since created hostile spirits who were, for the most part, not good people. God. So much horror has happened here that a strange feeling of negative energy is said to have washed over the walls themselves. It isn't long before the Ouija brothers, despite their usual level-headedness, find themselves looking over their shoulder and questioning every sound. Sure, any building that's centuries old is bound to make some creepy noises, and some of what they record sounds like the foundation settling and stuff like that. Other encounters, like what happened here only two minutes into their investigation, seem to be in response to a particular question. Are you upstairs? Bang. I agree with them that it's coming from above, but let me know if you agree. Whatever's following them, it seems to prefer to have a height advantage at all times. Dude, if I went to but like check a... this part out, Jason looks up a split second before he hears the noise. So, did they plan this and he messed up, or did he sense it moments prior? Is that you? Uh, he was up above, weren't he? Confident they've found a particularly haunted wing to explore, the Ouija brothers walk past each cell, encouraging anything inside to come forth. As they gently coax a spirit into revealing itself, Stee is too busy looking straight oh, ahead and order. misses this light anomaly that appears against the wall right next to him. It could just been the camera. I fully though. admit that it could be their camera equipment. Yeah. Still, Took the words it my never mouth. happens again, and get this, the light appears when Jason wants to know if the spirit remembers what life was like at Stapleton Mallet Prison. If you wish to come out, knock on the door that you want to come out of. Do you remember? Jason continues to talk to the spirit about the correctional officers who could go home while they had to stay here, and out comes the loudest bang of all. Bang! Whoa. What was that? But that's not all they hear. They pull out the electromagnetic meter to try and measure air currents for paranormal activity. It's like right next Nothing to Nothing happens it? at first, but then it beeps loudly and turns green for a long time. I figured. They can't get the meter to do it again, and they are trying to figure out if it was a glitch when interrupted by something scary mid-sentence. I'll enhance the audio to make it easier to hear. Same with very volume, didn't it? 75% slower. It's a small, muffled voice from far away. I didn't really hear so it. So tiny and distant that it shouldn't have even registered on camera. Not with the heavy doors behind them. And yet it reaches their ears with alarming clarity. They agree it's a woman, but still they cannot pinpoint its exact location. And when they go outside, the prison is empty as ever. According to legend, this could be the voice of one of the oldest prisoners, a woman known only as the Woman in White. She is said to have taken the life feel, of her fiancé I've heard this story before, but I never really like... 
Now she wanders the it A and B wings, moaning her sorrows. That sounds so familiar. The electromagnetic reader they left behind goes crazy again as they search for her, indicating that while they may have left the room, perhaps she did not. The reason why they were able to hear her so clearly was that her ghostly presence had been tailing behind them all along. Wow, 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 wow. Number 10. This group of friends goes into an old middle school rumored to be haunted. The building has only recently been abandoned and is still in relatively good condition. There's not much to say until they come to one section of the school that is much Was darker this recorded in like the 80s or something? It looks old. The group still feels safe in their large numbers and they bravely trudge through a series of musty hallways. They don't see anything out of the ordinary. Dude. Still, when they put the video on YouTube, somebody points out a possible shadow figure in the distance. I couldn't really get a glimpse of it. I think it could be just a stack of debris, but then again, I can oh, no. to make out the faint outline it's like, of a shadow, roughly the size of a child. It looked like it flicked the a little. The more I look at it, the more I notice its legs and head. Let yes. me know if you agree or think I'm sincerely looking into the situation. That is creepy. I think that was a figure because just the way it was like positioned by the wall and all that. This video was supposedly found on a deep web server under the file name EB. Oh, those deep web videos. Iger. EBE is what short is for that? Extraterrestrial Biological Entity. It's like an AI the robot. The uploader what thinks Iger could be a mountaintop location in oh. Switzerland. 1992 refers to the year that the video was made. Oh, wow. Anyway, what's especially odd is how the camera person moves around in a hurry as they record still photograph after still photograph of a strange gray alien. I get the impression that they were recording classified evidence from an area they did not belong in. Ooh. That's the type of stuff you would find in like Area 51. Nah, I don't I think there's stuff in Area 51. Adam Park and his friend. I think they hid the stuff in Area 51. Like I think Area 51 is just a distraction from like the actual base. Like we have no idea where the actual base is located. It's just a distraction. That's my honest All nighter on Call of Duty when they get interrupted by some loud noises at three in the morning. Nothing like those all-nighters, dude. The only I other person that. there besides them is Adam's roommate, TJ, and the noises are coming from his room. Adam knows something weird is happening, so he pulls out his phone and starts recording. Okay. What the fuck? Oh my God, what the fuck? Yo, what Adam the opens the door and peeks down the hall. This is what he hears. DJ, what the fuck, dude? Should we call the cops? Yo, call the cops. I would call, call the, cops. the cops. All right. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Let's DJ. go. Bro. Yo, dude, go in there. We gotta, we gotta help him. Bro. DJ. We gotta help him, bro. The noise sends all four friends running back into Adam's room. One calls the police, and the rest decide to do what they can to help their friend. Oh my god. However, when they bravely walk back into the hallway. They find that TJ is far beyond help. What? Yo. What Yo, the get fuck? the fuck out of here, Paul. TJ, are you okay, dude? T TJ! Oh! 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 Why were they recording that though? Like, why didn't they actually, oh my God. A group of friends is roaming around an old English home rumored to be quite haunted. Unlike most other videos on this list, they can get upstairs and quickly open every door they find. They then come across one door that they swear they've already opened. Wait, what the I swear the door was open earlier, no joke. You can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to escape. Maybe they were faking a surprise or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. Uh, circuit box. 
A YouTuber named Lee Boggs is, is hanging news? out in his attic because they heard some noises earlier that they believe were paranormal. I thought that was a news They're for a trying second. to instigate the ghost into revealing itself. Lee doesn't have to say much before the spirit takes the bait. Stop hiding and show yourself. That is a creepy looking attic. Give us a side. What the hell was that? You see something? We just got something on video. What was it? While this could merely be a speck of dust, the timing is too coincidental to deny. Let me know if you think Lee Boggs captured something on tape. Oh, or wow. If you think they've just been spending that even, too much time in the attic. That wasn't even an orb. That was like shaped weird. Creepy, creepy, creepy. A YouTuber named Joseph Chansuolme is optimistic that a ghost has been playing tricks on him. So he sets up a camera to record his apartment at night, since that's when the majority of his otherworldly interactions have occurred. It's past one in the morning when the orbs begin to dash wildly overhead like fireflies. Then, something turns on the bathroom lights and puts the faucet on full blast. Soon, the door shuts by itself, and maybe it's just me, but I think I hear a bizarre noise after it closes, like a sigh. Listen to a this, sigh. and let me know if you hear it. So anyway, Joseph wakes up Ooh. after a while and hears the sink running. He immediately checks all around his bathroom, only to find it's clearly not a deep sleep. Uh, it's important to know that I didn't see or, any editing um, cuts easy. between when the sink turned on and when he checked the room. If this is fake, it's compelling. Here's another video of the sink on a different night. This time, it's taken in front of a mirror that shows that no one was around. Joseph eventually moved away before the paranormal tampering I would have escalate too. into something I would have too. dangerous. The good old moving away after you encounter something paranormal, dude. People that do that are smart. A YouTuber named Dale Pendleberry is getting terrible sleep and wants to know what is going wrong. So he's got cameras set up. It isn't that. necessarily a lack of sleep that's the problem, he thinks, but rather the quality. Even though he gets between seven and eight hours of sleep every night, he still always wakes up in the morning feeling like he has no rest. He needs to get to the bottom of this, so he that's sets weird. up a camcorder to record himself overnight. Little did he know that what he was recording was his possession. This camera only films when it detects motion or audio, which spares Dale the trouble of fast-forwarding oh through the slow parts. Oh my gosh. Things start to get very strange soon after the first night when he reviewed the tapes. Dude, that is terrifying. And you can hear like... By night three, something is throwing him around in his bed. Oh my god, no. I would have been More so confused. strange noises happen throughout the next night, and at one point, he even sits straight up and looks straight at the camera. There is no expression on his face, but it seems like his eyes are completely open. Dale drops back hard onto his bed without a word. Then, on the final night, Dale does this. Oh my gosh. It's hard to tell if this is real or fake for sure. Most of the comments on his video say that this is real, so maybe that will help you decide. Dude, that is terrifying. See guys, I swear negative energy, possession, all that stuff is real. And all I gotta say is meditate and only affirm positive things in your life because I am telling you dude, this kind of stuff you see, I, I think some of it is obviously edited and fake, but some of this stuff is real. I do believe it's real. This video is relatively I've short seen this one before, at only seven seconds but and leaves us with more questions I've seen than this answers. One before. Two girls are filming a YouTube video with a giant toy dog. 
If someone could translate this part, it could give us more insight into what the video was supposed to be about. Instead, yeah, I forgot how she reacts. starts moving on its own, staring directly at one of the girls. The girl off camera tells her to look at the toy, and when she does, she throws it down in fear. Their reactions both seem very genuine, and if this isn't paranormal, then I have no idea what caused it. I hate dolls. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. A ghost in the basement of a construction site terrifies workers so much that they try to avoid going down into the mysterious place altogether. Still, one day, after all of their power tools mysteriously fail at the same time, a worker goes exploring the haunted basement to reset the breakers. As I said, the ghost terrifies the other workers too much to go down there with him. He doesn't feel safe, so he makes a video to make himself feel better. It sounds like a good idea, except that what he's caught on video now haunts him forever. Let's run that back. He passes two dark and seemingly empty rooms in a long, narrow passage. In the second room, there looks to be something scary in the basement. A ghostly gray figure appears to pull oh, itself across the cold, cool. concrete floor. He hears shuffling from behind. He doesn't see the ghost and keeps exploring the catacomb-like maze for the circuit box, which is buried in one of these dark rooms. Oh, no thanks. And he's just Something running. in the darkness startles him moments before a strange Do and we get mysterious the light either? spills into the hall. When the worker reaches the room, he finds it is devoid of all light, and the paranormal feeling is twice as strong. His reaction? Run out of that dark hallway like crazy and upload the creepy video on YouTube. <laughs> he later says that he was Man's terrified got priorities. that other workers had seen a similar flash of light after going down there and getting this strange and mysterious shape. This video is from December 13th of 2019 and is the only upload on his channel. There have been die? no further updates on this strange place. He must have died. It <laughs> looks like someone made a new account to anonymously share these scary basement videos for us all to see, and then probably quit on the spot by running for their lives. <laughs> Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. Will shock you. All right, number one. The moment y'all been waiting for, just like I say in every other video. <laughs> a TikToker named Presley Belcher is making a video when her closet door opens from the inside. Coincidentally, it happens when the male backup vocals kick in during the song, which unfortunately I don't think I can play in this video. Presley says that she did not plan this video at all. I probably believe her because when the door opens, it looks like a white flash of light comes from within oh, the closet no. if you look close no, enough. No, no, no. Let me know if I'm way off base or if you think you can see it too. Dude, that is creepy. Well guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These videos absolutely gave me the chills, especially those possession videos because this could literally happen to any of us. Like I truly believe possessions are real. I believe in negative energy, all that sort of stuff. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys already know what to do, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.